Hi everybody, in this video we will talk about silkworm facts. So, and uh, the silkworm is the larva or uh, caterpillar of the domesticated uh, silk moss. It is an economically important insect, being a primary producer of silk. A silkworm's preferred food is white uh, mulberry leaves. Domestic silk moss are closely dependent on humans for reproduction as a result of a millennia of selective breeding. Wild silk moss are different, uh, having not seen selectively bred to their domestic cousins. They are not commercially viable in the production of silk. Sericulture the, uh, or the practice of breeding silkworms for the production of raw silk has been underway for uh, at least 5,000 years in China, from where it spread to Korea and Japan and later to India and the West. Mulberry silkworms can be categorized into three different but connected groups or types. The major groups of silkworms fall under univoltine and bivoltine categories. The univoltine breeds a breed is generally linked with the geographical area within Greater Europe. The eggs of this type hibernate during winter uh, due to the cold climate and cross-fertilize only by spring, generating silk only once annually. The second type is called bivoltine and is normally found in China, Japan and Korea. Uh, the breeding process of this type takes place twice annually and feed are made possible uh, through the slightly warmer climates and the resulting two life cycles. Uh, the pivaltine, uh, I'm sorry, the polyvaltine type of uh, uh, mulberry silkworm uh, can only be located in the tropics. The eggs are laid by female moths and hatch within 9 to 12 days, so the resulting type can have up to eight separate life cycles throughout the year. Eggs take about 14 days to hatch into larvae which eat continuously. They have a preference for white mulberry. They are not monophagous since they can eat other species of maros as well as some other uh, morosea, uh, mostly Osage orange. After they have molted four times the bodies uh, become slightly yellow and the skin becomes tighter. The larvae then enter the pupil phase of the life cycle and enclose themselves in a cocoon made up of raw silk produced by the uh, salivary glands. The cocoon is made of a uh, thread of raw silk from 300 to 900 meters or from 1000 to 3000 feet long. The fibers are very fine and lustrous, uh, just about 0.0004 inches in diameter and about 2,000 to 3,000 cocoons are required to make a pound of silk or 0. I'm sorry, 0.4 kilogram. At least 70 million pounds of raw silk are produced each year uh, requiring nearly 10 billion pounds of cocoons. And that's basically it for silkworm facts. If you like this video please take a moment and comment below, watch other videos on our channel and subscribe to our channel as well.